Welcome back to my channel, and as always, thanks to my subscribers. In today's video, I want to show you how I assemble, paint, and weather the freight car trucks on my HO scale layout. To put my methods in context, I model a Class 1 railroad set in the late 1950s. I start with Bettendorf style side frames from AccuRail. These are cast in black Delrin plastic and they come in packs of 12 pair, 50 pair, or 100 pair. If you are reusing trucks which have been in service for a long time, it's a good idea to remove any rust or other debris which might have accumulated in the axle pockets. Use a truck tuner tool for this job. The truck tuner has a cutting edge on one end and a smooth spindle on the other. Insert the truck tuner into the side frame, gently squeeze the pockets together, and turn the tool using the rubber grip. Note the tool only cuts in one direction. Then turn the tuner around and smooth the other axle pocket. Repeat this on the other side frame axle. Since Delrin plastic is so smooth, you need a good primer. I've had excellent results with Rust-Oleum Flat Red Primer, shown here. Before spraying the side frames, you need to be sure no paint enters the axle pockets. The easiest way to do this is to insert plastic wheel sets into the side frames. I was going to discard these anyway, so I'll get good use from them before I do. As you can see, you can reuse the wheel sets several times. I built this tool to hold my side frames for spray painting. It's just eight alligator clips bolted onto a paint stirring stick. The alligator clips hold the side frames in place nicely. I also use this tool to hold detail parts for spraying. And here are the primed side frames. I remove them from the painting tool and remove the plastic wheel sets. The side frames are now ready for some additional weathering. I keep the wheel sets for reuse. They could also be stacked outside a car repair shop but clip off the pointed axle tips first. The first step in weathering the side frames is a black wash. I use black craft paint diluted with lots of water. The wash settles into the crevices of the casting, highlighting the details. This wash can be applied as lightly or as heavily as you like, and complete coverage is not critical. The wash will look very dark when it goes on, but will lighten as it dries. After the black wash has dried, I paint the springs using a medium brown. Here, I'm using Model Master Railroad Tie Brown. I use a 5 watt paintbrush for this job. When the springs are dry, I dry brush grimy black on the journal bearing covers. A heavier coat of paint will model a journal cover, which has leaked quite a bit. And here is a completely painted and weathered side frame. Once the side frames are dry, it's time to turn to the wheel sets. I use 33 inch metal wheel sets from Intermountain on all my freight cars. On freight cars rated for 100 tons or more, or on passenger cars, you should use 36 inch wheel sets. I paint the outer face of each whale with Model Master Flat Rust. A fine micro brush is perfect for this task. It just fits between the wheel rim and the wheel hub. Be sure not to get any paint on the axle tip. If you do, clean it off with a cotton swab before it dries. It will take two cuts to get even coverage. One of my viewers commented that he uses grimy black instead of rust because the journal boxes were always leaking oil and this oil and dirt created a black crud on the faces of the wheels. I encourage you to try this and see which color you prefer. When the wheel sets are dry, simply pop them into the side frames and your trucks are ready for installation. I have included links to all the products mentioned in this video in the comments below. As always, I would love to hear your comments and questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.